What's going on guys, Owners Forum coming at you guys today with another video. In today's video we're going to do the preview, we're on week 11. Um, the Chicago Bears coming to town, Chicago Bears at Detroit Lions. Bears coming in at 3-7, and 4th in the NFC North, and uh, Lions at 7-2, and two, first place in the NFC North, a division game. Um, Bears playing a little bit better football on the defensive side at least anyways. And, uh, you know, they got a pretty good defense. But it, this is a big game for uh, the Detroit Lions. Let's go to the injury report. We start with the road team, and that is the Bears. The Bears got linebacker Noah Sewell. Um, knee injury, did not practice. He, his status is going to be out, so he did not practice on Friday. Linebacker Jack Sanborn, ankle illness, did not practice. He's questionable, so he'll be a game-time decision probably. Linebacker Tremaine Edmonds with the knee injury, limited practice as well. Questionable, probably a game time decision. Running back Deontay Foreman, ankle, limited practice, questionable. So another probably maybe game time decision, see how he feels. And full back Kahari, blazing game, concussion, full practice, no injury designation on him. Offensive lineman, guard pretty much, Nate Davis, ankle, full practice. He looks like he's going, no injury designation. Tight end Mercedes Lewis had some rest. Um, he's, he's at, he's the veteran of, of the group. Um, no injury designation for him either. I don't think he, he, I don't think it even, he practiced on Friday, but I think he's good to go. Uh, then DB Terrell Smith illness, uh, full practice, no injury designation. And then running back Khalil Herbert, who's back, who's been out for a bit too as well. Ankle, shin, full practice, no injury designation. He looked like he's a go. And then quarterback, Justin Fields, who's missed over a month, I believe, of football, um, Got his right thumb. He's getting strength in his thumb. He's a full practice. He's good to go. He'll be starting on Sunday. The Detroit Lions, nose tackle Isaiah Bugs with an illness. Uh, did not practice. He is officially out. Offensive guard uh, Jonah Jackson with a wrist and an ankle injury. Did not practice. He's officially out too. Um, Iwasika should be going in for him or maybe Colsey Sorzlow, maybe both. But it looks like Iwasika will get another start. Safety, I, I, I Fieto Melafonwu with a hand injury. Full practice, no injury designation. Defensive tackle, Levi Muzirike is back. Uh, he had that hip injury. Full practice, no injury designation. Khalif Raymond, um, wide receiver, ankle. Full practice, no injury designation. Wide receiver, Donovan Peoples-Jones with the ribs, rib injury. Was a full practice pretty much the whole week. Looks like we're going to see him in his debut in a Detroit Lions uh, uh, uniform. So that's good. He's at home too. Center, Frank Rag now. Got a toe, back, and some vet rest. Full practice on Friday. He's good to go. So a couple of injuries, but a couple guys coming back too. So everything works out even. Now let's do the rankings, guys. You know how I love to do the rankings here. We, we, we do, we're we going to do the Bears first, and then the Lions right away. We're going to do offense first. So Bears, yards per game, 322.8 yards total per game. That puts them at 20th in the NFL. They rush for 135.1 a game. Uh, that puts them at number four in the NFL. So they can run the football rush per. So per rush, 4.5 yards per rush. That puts them tied for fifth. Passing per game, they, they pass for 187.7 yards a game. Not a lot. That puts them at 25th in the NFL. You know, they did have Tyson Badgett in there too. So, you know, Justin Fields was actually playing good when he was in there. Uh, QBR, 82.1. Uh, that puts them at 22nd in the NFL. Sacks, they give up 30. Uh, that that ties them for 26, so they so they can uh, uh, they do give up a ton of sacks. Their their third down percentages um, is at a, a third downs turned into first downs. That's 43.6 percent. So they're tied for six in the NFL. So they do convert thirds into first downs, which is impressive. I didn't think it was that high. Um, their possession per game, their offense is on the field for 30 minutes and 26 per average. So that puts them at 14th in the NFL. And then they're scoring 20.4 points a game. That puts them at 20th. So good running team basically is, is basically what they are. Um, even with the even with the stars they got on the outside, like with uh, with, with DJ Moore and you know Mooney can shine every now and then. Cole Komet's a damn good tight end. Um, but they run the football and that's what they do well. Now the Lions, their offense, 406.4 yards uh, total per game. That, that puts them at number two in the NFL. They rush for 139 yards on the nose. That puts them at number three. They, ru they rush per per rush is 4.5 yards. Tied for fifth with Chicago. Um, they pass for 267.4 4, uh, uh, yards a game. That puts them at number four. QBR rating is at 99.1. That puts Goff at number nine. They have given up 16 sacks, which is excellent. That's tied for fourth in the NFL. 
That's a fantastic goal line. Uh, their third down percentages, turning thirds into first, is at a is at a, oh I forgot to write it down, but it, it is fifteenth in the NFL. Um, it was so it's good. So it's, it's around middle of the pack. So it's probably around I'm guessing it's around thirty something. I don't know I don't know why I didn't write that down, but they are fifteenth in the NFL. Um, so middle of the pack, pretty much. And then possession per game, thirty three minutes and thirty two seconds. They are in the field per game. Their offense that puts them at number three. So that's great for the defense. They're resting their defense and uh, more points. Uh, obviously, man, if, if, if you're on the if you're on the field long, there's a good chance you're scoring some points. And then they score about 26.8 points a game. That puts them at fifth in the NFL. So they are top 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 rated offense, I think, in the NFL. Um, top ten, top ten, top five, even top five in in a lot of categories. They're scoring. You know, they're getting the yards. They're they're, they're doing their thing. So. They can run and they can pass the ball. So they're a very good football team, especially on offense. On our defense, yards per game, the Bears, they uh, give up 324.2 yards total per game. That puts them at 15th. They, uh, they're giving up 76 yards rushing on the ground. That puts them at number two in the NFL. They are a damn good rushing defense. Uh, per rush, um, uh, running backs or whoever are running only 3.2 yards against them per rush. That puts them at number one in the, all of the NFL. Uh, they pass the passing against 248.2 yards against that puts them at 26. So that, so they are, so you can be passed on QBR 99.7, um, against that puts them at 30th. So quarterbacks do have some success against them. They only have 13 sacks in the year that put, puts them at bottom bear on the league. That's why they went out and, and, and they acquired Montez sweat. Um, third down percentages, 45.5% against. Now that third downs are going to get converted into first downs. That puts them at 31 in the league. So offenses are getting first downs and them at, at, at a very high rate. Um, possession, they are in the field 29 minutes and 33 seconds. That puts them at 14th. In points per game, they're giving up 25.5 points. That puts them at 27th in the league, um, the total NFL. So, you know, good defense. They don't get they, they don't really get scored on a ton. You know, that 25.5, it... Is a little bit high. I think it's a little bit higher than the average, but they they, they play really good run defense, man, and and that's going to be you know that's going to be where they where the Detroit Lions are going to have to really hit them hard there. So um, I'm excited to see this matchup because it's going to be a really good matchup. But you know, it's 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 a little bit. I don't want to say it's an underrated defense, but they do play some good. They do have some areas where they uh, where they have some problems, and uh, uh, they can solve them pretty quick. So, Detroit Lions, they give up 310.7 yards per game. That puts them at number 9 in the NFL, which is good. Rush per game, they're giving up 79.1. That puts them at 3 in the NFL. Really good run defense. Giving up 3.7 yards per rush, tied for 4th. They're giving up through the air, 231.6. That puts them at number 20. Uh, 88.3 is the is the QBR rating. Uh, that puts them at 14th in the NFL. They're, they have 21 sacks on the season. That, that, that puts them tied for 27th. Like that, that, That's got to get up. It, that, that, that's terrible. That's just absolutely terrible. And we didn't do nothing about it. So uh, Bruce Irvin, that's what we did. Um, third down percentages, we are stopping them at 35%. So that puts them at 7th in the NFL, which is good. Um, in possession, they are on the field 26 minutes and 56 seconds per game. That puts them at number 3. And then points per game, we're giving up 22.6 points. That puts them at 21. And just imagine if we would have went out and got somebody to go get to the quarterback a little bit more. I think it would have been so much better. But pull the video. I just can't let him go. Now the roster, Bears offense. Quarterback Justin Fields, he's back. Tyson ba Bajan over there uh, came in, filled out, filled up for a couple games. And uh, I think they won one or two. Uh, so, you know, Fields is back. He's got that hand. they got that thumb injury. Is he 100%? We'll find out more. They got a lot of guys back, though. Running back, Khalil Herbert. Deontay Foreman's back, too, as well. And Rashawn Johnson, the rookie out of Texas. Uh, wide receivers, E.J. Moore, Darnell Mooney, Tyler Scott, the rookie. Velas, uh, Velas Jones Jr., Equinamius, St. Brown. Um, yeah, is uh, um, uh, that's uh, Amon Ra's brother. And then tight ends, Cole Komet, uh, Robert Tanyan. Cole Komet's a damn good tight end, guys. Watch out for him. Left tackle, Braxton Jones. Left guard, Trent Tevin Jenkins. Center, Lucas Patrick. Right guard, Nate Davis is back. And then right tackle, the rookie, Darnell Wright. 
Um, defensive for the Chicago Bears, left defensive end Montez Sweat, who was a good one. Didn't show up on the didn't show up on the stat sheet last week, um, but had like an incredible eight to nine rushes and just pressures all over the field. And um, he 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 had that quarterback uh, uh, with his head on a swivel. So he didn't really get on his, on the stat board, but he 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 was a big uh, uh, game changer last week for the Bears. Nose tackle Andrew Billings. Zach Pickens, uh, the rookie over there too as well. Defensive tackle, Justin Jones. Um, Jervon Dexter Sr., the rookie too out of Florida. Yannick Ngakwe, the right, uh, the, uh, yeah, the right defensive end. So they got two bookends that can rush the quarterback at least. Sweat does a little bit of both really well. He can rush and he can play the run. Uh, Yannick is just basically um, a rushing the quarterback type guy. Not really uh, a guy that's going to play the run. Then, then will linebacker T.J. Edwards is coming back home. I think he's from Detroit. Um, then a linebacker Tremaine Edwards is he hurt though? We might see some Jack Sanborn. He's hurt too. And they got another guy Cole Disley or something like that. I I I, I forget who that third guy was. I forgot to write him down. Cole something. Um, so they're kind of hurt in that middle linebacker, but it looks like Edmonds could be back. I and mean, he's not coming back 100. percent So who knows? And then Sanborn's beat up too as well. Then left cornerback Jalen Johnson, who's a really good corner. Uh, a strong safety, Jaquan Brisker, who's a good safety. Free safety, Eddie Jackson. Right cornerback, Tyreek Stevenson, the rookie. And then uh, uh, nickel corner, Kyler Gordon. So, like I said, not a it's not a bad defense. They play the run exceptionally well. Like, fantastic. Number one in the NFL, number one, number two. So, they got a great, but they can be thrown on. You know what I mean? But they do have a great run defense, but they can be thrown on. Um, because they haven't got to the quarterback much. That's why they went out to sweat. And we'll see what happens with that. I got no issues um, worried about this, though. Um, about Montez Sweat. Like, he, he he is a problem. Don't get me wrong. No disrespect. But th- th- this is a guy. Uh, this is an offense that 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 stymied guys like Joey Bosa um, and uh, uh, Khalil Mack last week. Pede Sewell has been a stud at right tackle. So... Not really too worried about it. Now, now the roster and the offense for the Lions. Quarterback J- Jared Goff. Teddy Bridgewater backing him up. Running back David Montgomery. Jamar Gibbs. Some of the two best. One of the two best duos in the NFL together. Uh, all, all year. Um, really exceptional last couple games too. With both these guys playing. And then Craig Reynolds. Craig Reynolds rounding that off. Amon Ross St. Brown. The wide receivers. Josh Reynolds. Jameson Williams. Khalif Raymond. Donovan Peoples-Jones. And then Antoine Green. The rookie. So a really nice. Uh, uh, wide receiver core there. Tight end, Sam Laporta, Brock Wright. Left tackle, Taylor Decker. Left guard looks like it's going to be Coyote Ewosika with Jackson out. You have Dan Skipper kind of hanging around too as well. Center, Frank Ragnall. Right guard, Graham Glasgow. Right tackle, Panay Sewell with like Sorzel. Colby Sorzel and Dan Skipper kind of being the guys that could come in and out on rotation if someone needs a break or someone gets a little bit dinged up. Then the defense, defensive end, John Kaminsky. Still waiting for this guy to make an impact. Love him, but man, he hasn't done much this year. Josh Pascal, Charles Harris, rounding that off. Nose tackle, Benito Jones, Broderick Martin, the rookie, because Bugs is going to be out. So you can see maybe Broderick Martin get some more snaps in there. Defensive tackle, Lee McNeil, Levi and Rizarike back too as well. Rush ends, Aiden Hutchinson, Romeo and Julian Aqua are kind of backing him up as well. Middle linebacker, Jack Campbell, the rookie. You got Derek Barnes out there. Will Lab linebacker Alex Anzalone, Malcolm Rodriguez. Malcolm Rodriguez pulling some double duty too as well, playing some fullback. And you, get, you guys got Anthony Pittman, Jalen Reeves, Mabin, um, line, uh, rounding off the linebacking unit. The left corner, Cam Sutton, Will Harris, Stephen Gilmore, the rookie. Tr- strong safety, Kirby Joseph, Melifon will back him up. Free safety, Tracy Walker. Right cornerback, Jerry Jacobs. Khalil Dorsey in there, too, playing some special teams. Nickel corner back, uh, Brian Branson, rookie at Alabama, and Chase Lucas. So pretty good defense, pretty good depth there. Um, you know, our defense has been, you know, it's, it's an exceptional run defense, but we do give up some in the past. It's just, it's, 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 not, it's not a secret. Um, I, think we're, I think we're a little bit worse than middle of the pack um, in giving up passing yards and passing touchdowns. Uh, but we were going up against strength versus strength in this football game. Now let's talk it. Let, let, let's talk about it, man. And then I'll make my prediction. Um, this Lions offense is top notch. It's top five in the NFL. If people want to say it's top ten. That's fine. But the numbers across the board scream top five. Um, 
it's, it's, it's what they do every week. It's just what they do every week, what this team needs to be done. You know, just like football, I just, I just keep repeating myself. This team needs to run the football, and they need to not be shy of, of doing it. They went up against a stellar run defense last week. Not a good defense overall, a stellar run defense, and gashed them for 200 yards. And if I think the same will be done here, they will attempt to run the ball on, on the Bears because you have to go to the play action. That helps out Jared Goff huge. He lives off the play action. He is a play action quarterback, and that's how that's where he he finds success. And uh, Amon Ross St. Brown will be largely targeted. Sam Laporta, and you got to run the hell out of Gibbs and Montgomery. And if they can do that, I think everything will be good. Now, defensively for the Detroit Lions and offensively for the Bears, um, the Bears run the football really well. They run the football with the trio of guys they have. They have Khalil Herbert back. How much will he be? You know, into the game, how many snaps will be key there. Um, you got Roshan Johnson, the rookie. Deontay Foreman runs the football well. He's a load. And you got Justin Fields. You can't be afraid of Justin Fields. Uh, the last couple of times we played Fields and the Chicago Bears, he killed us on the ground. Destroyed us. Like, I think he, 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 he might have rushed for close to 300 yards total for both games. It felt like it was even more than that at one point. Um, we couldn't stop him on the ground. At all. Um, running and throwing the ball through the air la last time we played him. Um, he didn't do too well. They had, they, you know, they added some guys there, obviously, with DJ Moore coming into town. Cole Komet kind of getting uh, a little bit better. Darnell Mooney always being a threat in my eyes. You know, screen passes to the running backs. Um, you know, they just got to stop the run. That's what the Lions have been doing all year. We've got up against some really good running backs this year. And I don't think we've given up a 100 yard rusher all year. I don't really think we have. Uh, I'd have to, I have to go look at that. You know, maybe total yards, of course, that, that, that's going to happen. I think Eckler had like 130 yards total against us last week, but we, we but we still beat them. Um, the Bears are not the Chargers. We are at home. I think the crowd's going to get into it. Um, we just got to you know we just got to stymie the run, stop the run, and I think you know the pass comes naturally. The pass comes naturally. You know, but like I said. DJ Moore is a baller. Darnell Mooney can hurt you. Can hurt you deep. It, you know they just got to be on top of things. They got to be on top of it. But stopping the run is key. Stopping the run is key and trying to bottle up Justin Fields. That's going to be the tough one too, because we've struggled mightily against the against running quarterbacks, mobile quarterbacks. But I think this game, you know, I think we're going to beat these guys up. I I really do, man. I think it's going to be thirty three to seventeen. I'm going to change. I, I I had it at twenty. I'm going to, I'm going to make it thirty three seventeen. Detroit Lions. I don't think the Lions are going to lose this football game. I don't think it's a trap game. You know, if they lose, obviously, it's like one of those games, like, oh, God, it's a trap game. But I don't think this team's going to be sleeping on these guys. These guys have some weapons. The Bears have weapons. They really do. They're not just this team that you're going to cakewalk all over. Now, I think we just have a really good football team, and I think that's why we're going to beat them pretty good. Because um, I think we're dominant on offense. We're dominant through the air. We're dominant... Running the football, they have a dominant run defense, but they could be had. They could be had in the pass. You know, taking care of those two defensive ends are going to be key as well too. So, then, then, then both avenues will work: run and pass, right? So, and then on defense, I just, you know, um, I don't trust their passing game. Chicago's, I don't trust their passing game, and um, I think they're going to try to run the ball as much as they can because that's what they're really, really good at. It's going to be tough to run on this team. It's going to be tough to run on the Lions. So they might have to go to the pass. Mm -hmm. Passes when they don't want to pass. So I think that's going to be the Achilles heel for the Bears. And I'm not disrespecting Justin Fields because, you know what, he was playing okay football before he before he went down. He's playing good football. So, you know, they got some weapons over there, but I just think we beat him up. If we're at home, I, I just I don't think we're going to get a lot. I don't think we're going to get scored on much. A couple touchdowns and maybe a field goal. And I think we're going to put 30-plus on the board. So 33-17 Detroit Lions, guys. That's it. Thanks a lot for coming in and watching me talk about our love it, lovable Lions. Um, I appreciate it a lot. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right. Don't forget to hit the notification up bell up top. Don't forget to like, share, comment this, and uh, uh, put this thing out there so everybody share it, like, comment, and share uh, uh, for your boy. And I, and I really appreciate it. So go Lions. One pride. Detroit versus everybody. Let's go beat up on those Bears. Go Lions. Boom. Let's go, baby.